Welcome. You're listening to the Bulldog Educator Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. Thank you so much for listening. Music created for the Bulldog Educator is by David Galvez. Podcast platform is through anchor.fm. Welcome to another episode of the Bulldog Educator Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. This is episode 15, season one, and this is an introduction to Universal Design for Learning guidelines. Um, In the next few episodes, we're going to be running a little mini series on UDL guidelines and different aspects of that. So I just wanted to do a brief introduction through this podcast in this episode, and then we will have follow-up podcasts with guest speakers and go into a deeper dive into the UDL guidelines and principles. So some of you may be asking, what are the UDL or Universal Design for Learning guidelines? And they're a tool that's used to implement the Universal Design for Learning or a framework to help improve and optimize teaching and learning for all people based on scientific insights and how humans learn. This framework, this Universal Design for Learning framework and guidelines are based on multiple years of research. Um, What you'll find as we dig into the Universal Design for Learning guidelines is many of the things and the practices you do with instruction and how you interact with students and the philosophies that you have, have roots in the Universal Design for Learning guidelines and principles. And what I want for you guys to understand is this is something that really is new to me in one way. I knew a lot of it, but I didn't realize it was rooted in universal design for learning. But I took a class this last fall, um, a graduate class um, that was an, um, a certificate to add to my master's degree in online teaching and learning. And it was all about how in an online environment for learning, how do we apply the principles of universal, universal design for learning? But what I found was, was these were things and practices that could be applied in any learning environment. And so my hope is that as we dig into the universal design for learning, both some, some things I've already learned and some things I'm going to be learning with you, um, that you'll really um, be affirmed. Um, by the many things you were already doing, that they're things that should be done. And then you'll find new ways to innovate and support your learners in ways that you may have dabbled in, but wasn't sure where to go with it, and now may have some more um, concrete ways to do it. Um, This is recently, the UDL um, has been recently relaunched or launched in a new effort um, to respond to the rising crisis in equity in education. And basically these guidelines were updated so that we could help provide an entry point for all learners without reacting to providing access, but be proactive in anticipating need and providing opportunities for learning on the front end, anticipating how students would receive instruction, what ways we can provide multiple means of of engagement, multiple means of representation, and multiple means of action and expression. And through that, move through how we provide access, and then we move into how do we build with build them as learners and also build the instruction we provide them? And then how do we help learners internalize what they're doing? So ultimately the goal of this is that they become expert learners. And what a wonderful goal that our all time goal for all learners is to work them through a process where as they learn, they are excited about learning, they have multiple ways to access it, and they know how to self-regulate, they know who they are as learners so that they can self-advocate. So I'm excited about this mini series that I'm providing to you. I'm excited about where this will take us. And as always, if you have questions or you have something to add, or you would like to be, you're an expert in this area and you would like to add to it, I'd love to have you as a guest on the podcast please reach out to me through my social media um, sites or you can email me at the bulldog educator edu at the bulldog edu.org. So I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward as we move through this, um, this mini series on the universal design for learning guidelines and principles and have a great night. The bulldog educator. This is Kirsten Wilson signing off. 
Thank you for listening to another episode of the Bulldog Educator, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. You can find the Bulldog Educator on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the handle at the Bulldog EDU. That's at the Bulldog EDU. You can also find us and content related to education and this podcast on our blog at thebulldogedu.org.